Well, my name is uh, Reverend Canon Dixon Chilangani, and I work as the General Secretary of the Anglican Church of Tanzania. Well, as you understand, uh, the, the church in Africa is growing very fast, uh, and that includes the church here in Tanzania. And not just the church in general, but the Anglican church is also growing. But the challenge we are having here is that uh, actually our Christians are not deeply rooted in the Bible, in that they have no deep engagement uh, with, with the Bible. So the church is growing in terms uh, of number, but uh, in terms of depth, uh, in terms of reading the Bible and understanding it, reflecting it, uh, they are not, it's not quite growing, so they are not deeply rooted in the Bible, and that's why I think the Bible project is important, because uh, it's meant to help church leaders, to help the Christians uh, for deeper engagement uh, with the Bible. Reverend Chimofu, Erasto Chimeledia, uh, from the Diocese of Mkwapa. Yeah, to me, looking Bible, uh, engagement here in Tanzania is uh, very important because uh, it helps uh, the uh, congregation in large uh, to understand uh, Bible plainly. But in other words, it is part of mission. It helps them uh, to read the uh, Bible, uh, to understand it and uh, explain to other people. My name is Emmanuel Wata. I work in the Anglican Diocese of Western Tanganyika. Oh, of course there are, there are many challenges, but uh, maybe I should say uh, a few of them. One is most of the, uh, the pastors, most of them, they themselves, they don't have a really a good understanding on how to engage in the Bible. So if I cannot myself deeply engage or know how to engage in the Bible, then it's very hard for me to help those, I mean the rest of the congregations in how to engage in the, in the Bible. So what, that's one of the challenges. Uh, but also another thing is most Christians believe or think that it's the work of the pastors to interpret the Bible to them. And they are there just to sit and listen what the pastor will say. So this, uh, I mean, this program is very important because it's going to bring things in the other way around, that everybody should be engaged. So the challenges, I think that these two ones are for me, or maybe the other one is all about the, uh, the people, most people don't know how to read or write, okay? So it's also very hard for the pastors. To, to, to make people or to involve people in the program because people don't know how to write or don't know how to read the Bible or anything like that. There are some challenges which face our pastors here in Tanzania. Uh, uh, for example, uh, because of, of, of uh, difficult lives, some pastors here are busy for looking for their daily daily bread. Sometimes they, they don't get enough time to make preparation for, uh, for uh, the Bible reading, Bible study. But even the congregation themselves, sometimes they are very busy. As I have mentioned, they are looking for their lives and sometimes they forget to attend in, in other session within a week. For example, we have, as we discussed in, in, in our, our workshops, uh, there are uh, uh, Friday teachings and other teachings which they are supposed to attend, but unfortunately they, they won't or they don't attend because of, uh, of these matters which face them. Well, one of the challenges uh, is that uh, uh, they don't have uh, many of the tools that uh, would help them to 
uh, help the Christians to interpret uh, the Bible. Uh, I mean that uh, not a lot is written in Swahili in simple language. Uh, that would help them to interpret uh, the Bible, uh, to help the Christians to understand it. And uh, that's a real challenge for, uh, for, our, for our pastors and uh, for all those who even teach, uh, teach the Bible. Pastors, evangelists, uh, what we call catechists, and uh, Bible teachers, uh, that's uh, one of the biggest uh, challenges. But also, uh, in the past, we used to have uh, Bible school classes on Fridays. Uh, from what I hear from the pastors is that uh, nowadays those classes, people don't attend the Friday classes. So what Christians get now is just the sermons on Sundays. So the uh, Christians have no, uh, they, they don't come for the, for the Friday classes where the Bible studies were taking place and Christians would ask questions. Uh, when you ask pastors, they give you a number, a lot of, of reasons. They would tell you that Christians are busy. Uh, and uh, when you ask Christians, they would say, well, they are willing to come and maybe pastors are not interested. So I think with the uh, Bible project, again, I think we can, we'll be motivated to think how to meet those uh, uh, such kind of a, of a challenge. We will have to think together in the workshops how we can overcome this, the, uh, this kind of a challenge in order to motivate the Christians to go back to the Friday uh, classes so that Christians can begin to come uh, for the Bible, Bible studies because, uh, as, uh, as it was in the past.